Ayo hey, Grappled Gang, what's poppin'? I'm Cartoon Cory back with more SpongeBob content. We're gonna be diving into more SpongeBob mistakes today. And be prepared, guys, because I've saved the craziest one for last. Like, you will not believe the last one. Anyways, let's get into these mistakes. Maybe this museum is too low brow for this masterpiece. Oh! <laughs> and take your putrid painting with you. Won't anyone save my precious painting? <laughs> good. First up is the episode Insecurity Guards, which is actually like a really good episode in terms of modern SpongeBob. You'll actually notice today, guys, a lot of the episodes are from modern SpongeBob, so seasons like 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. Anyways, though, here's our first mistake today from Insecurity Guards. Take a look at this. <laughs> No! Rule number one of guarding is don't let visitors touch stuff. No touchy, no feely. Aye, aye. And the most important rule of all is don't let visitors steal stuff. If you see anybody suspicious, <laughs> you give them the old stink eye. Okay, so this little dude right here is Monty P. Moneybags, and he's actually somewhat of an iconic character as he made his first appearance all the way back in the episode Artist Unknown from season one, two, or three. I can't remember. I call it bold and bright. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Anyways, though, as you can see, this little dude looks like this, all right? He's like orange. This is his main color color ever since Artist Unknown. Remember this as this is a big part of the mistake, as in Insecurity Guards, when Monty P. Moneybags is seen from afar, as you can see, he has his correct orange color. But this is where things get tricky. When SpongeBob and Patrick pass by him up close, like what is going on with this dude? What? What? He's mistakenly colored as like a light turquoise, and this is just incorrect. Normally he looks like this, this orange color, but here the animators just made a massive blunder and colored him completely incorrectly, dude. Like, what? That ain't even it for this episode, too, guys. Wait until you see this mistake. Let's see if you can spot it. Oh, boy! An extinct woolly mollusk! Oh, this little guy looks like my Gary. Is that it? Why? Whoa! No! Worse! Huh? Okay, so throughout the episode, for the most part, SpongeBob and Patrick wear these fresh security guard outfits, and my boys are dripping, bro. Like, get me one of those shirts. Look at them. They're so fresh. But anyways, they're wearing these outfits, and you need to remember this as it's important to the mistake. As later on, when Patrick and SpongeBob get spit out by this woolly mollusk, before they get spit out, they're still wearing the security guard outfits, okay? They're wearing this. They go in his mouth, but then when they're spit out, take a look at our boy Patrick over here as he's wearing wearing his normal, like, outfit, he's wearing his normal pants, instead of his security guard uniform, which is, like, a massive continuity error. He's wearing it, but then when he's shot out of the mouth, it's like they just forgot, but whatever. There's still another mistake in this episode. Let's move over to that one. Put on those mistake glasses, and let's see if you can spot it, though. The first exhibit on our tour is... Ah! The employee locker. Life is so glamorous. Let me just get my key. Put this on. Okay. Well, how do I look? Now, this one is more subtle. It's not that big of a deal. Real quick, though, take a look at this. This is how the inside of Patrick's mouth normally looks, all right? Remember this, as it doesn't look like this during this one scene in Insecurity Guards, as when Patrick shows SpongeBob the employee locker room, take a look at Patrick's mouth. It's like outlined red for a frame. It's only one frame, and it almost looks like the entire inside of his mouth is red, which is totally a mistake, guys. Like, it's not that bad of a mistake, but it's totally a mistake. Now, if you want bad mistakes, stay tuned as I've got lots in this video. Let's head over to another episode. Now dust the back! Ah, the, the, the very good Sir Urchin, sir! And quack! Oh, 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 oh. Why are you? What I thought! <laughs> 
Next up is a quick one from SpongeBob Season 13, the most recent SpongeBob season. I can't believe it's almost done. But anyways, the episode is Sea Urchin and Snail Fail, and here, take a look at the mistake. Let's get right into it. If only we had a real stage to perform on. If only I had a real stage to act on. Extra, extra! Big Bikini Bottom Talent Show tonight on a real stage! Yay! I smell a reunion! Were you guys able to catch it? This one's pretty blatant, but at first, when we see this character right here, Morty, he is yellow, all right? He's, he's very yellow. But then when the dude pops up again, he's not the right color. He's purple now, which is totally a mistake. I think normally he is purple, but the fact that he just randomly changes colors throughout the episode is, uh, is pretty rough. That's a mistake. And let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Mr. Krabs, you can't take that check. We're not high class caterers. We are anything we need to be for me to make this money. Unless you want to go back to the kids' party. <laughs> Mr. Krabs has had many different businesses over the years, and in the episode Krusty Catering, he starts, as you can guess based off of the title, a catering service for the Krusty Krab. It's pretty interesting. It's not a bad business idea. Here, take a look at how it goes. There's no way these people are gonna think our junk food is high class. Hmm, you might be right. SpongeBob, go find something to fancy up the food. Fancy, got it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Ghost. I want my cake! I want my cake! I got your cake. You did? Yeah, yeah. Your birthday cake is right through here. What do you think of this, Mr. Krabs? I call it Krabby Pate. SpongeBob, were those jewels on the patties? Yeah, you said fancy up the food, so I found some shiny stuff for garnish. Got a whole box. What the? <laughs> SpongeBob, you can't just go around taking people's prices, jewels. Get your fancy foods here. <laughs> Delicious! Like I said, not a bad idea, Mr. Krabs, aside from the little kids. But anyways, let's get into the mistake from this episode. <laughs> And I believe I let you talk me into this. Catering is a great way for you to make a little extra money. For me to make a lot. So take a look at this plankton pinata right here. It's kind of funny that for the catering, like when Mr. Krabs is taking care of kids, he uses a plankton pinata. That way the kids beat up plankton. It's really funny to me. But anyways, this plankton pinata is supposed to be here during this shot. But as Mr. Krabs is getting out of the crusty catering truck, the pinata is just not there. But then in the very next shot, it just magically reappears. So first, it isn't there, and they don't set it up or anything in between, as in the very next shot, it's just magically there now. Talk about a weird mistake, guys. It seems they just forgot about drawing the pinata at first, but whatever. Let's keep it moving and head over to yet another episode with more spicy, crazy, unbelievable mistakes. I was sincerely hoping that today might finally be the day that- Yes, Eugene? Can I steal a little kiss? <laughs> Now, I personally really like this next episode. I think it's like a solid episode in terms of modern SpongeBob, and that's Whirly Brains. An episode all about like a crazy toy, dude. I would never play with this toy personally. Here, I'm gonna show some clips really quickly. Would you guys play with this toy? Well, say goodbye to boring. And hello to Whirly Brains, the exciting new toy that puts you in the driver's seat of your own mind. Just flip your lid, attach the propeller, and watch your brain soar hundreds of feet into the air! Okay, Patrick, just let me flip your lid so I can attach the propeller directly to your brain. It's time to free our minds. I've never seen the world from this angle before. Okay, it's mistake time, all right? Enough about Whirly Brains toys. We're here for mistakes, and here's the first one. I want you guys to try and spot this one without me telling you. <laughs> This 
one is just really funny, but when this fish right here on the right, this incidental character right here, drinks his tea, the tea actually overlaps him. The tea should be going like into his mouth, but as you can see here, it's overlapping his mouth, guys, which in terms of 2D animation is not correct. For example, take a look at the pink or purple fish over here and how the glass is like touching their lips. That's how it should look. Not a big deal, but it's still a mistake, guys. It's still a mistake. And there's more. Take a look at this one right here. Hey, where's Squidward? I'm sure I saw him in here. Did you fall in? Squidward! Stop serenading me, you sap! It's my day off! Now go away! Oh, man! That's him! Hi, Squidward! So this one is a continuity error, as when Squidward sees Plankton's brain floating up and down, he screams out, aliens from Mars, while wearing his signature shirt. All right, look at him, he's looking fresh, he's looking dapper. But then, literally in the next shot, like seconds later, guys, like a couple seconds later, he is now naked and not wearing a shirt. Which, hey, zero complaints here, but if dude was wearing a t-shirt in this one shot, seconds later, he should still be wearing the t-shirt. Like, I highly doubt Squidward was so scared of Patrick's brain that he took his shirt off. So yeah, this was another mistake. And guys, let's keep the video moving. I've got more. Ah, Looks like I won't be needing you after all, Sponge Tom. Up next, coming in hot, is the episode Broken Alarm, which in my opinion is a bit of an iffy episode. I want to know how you guys feel about it though. Here are some clips, and let me know in the comments what you guys think about the episode. We're going to get into the mistakes right after this though. Maybe he's just seriously injured. <laughs> yeah, that's still bad, isn't it? Prepare yourselves for the the joy. Let's not be downers about this. Uh, oh, morning, everyone. You were late to work, so we assume the worst. You mean the best. But that's impossible. My trusty alarm clock always wakes me up. Mm. Well, how do you like that? It's unplugged. Well, we'll just fix that, and I'll never be late again. Oh. <laughs> Um. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I know you need to watch like the full episode, but like I said, it's iffy. It's not a bad one. It's not a good one. But anyways, let's get into the mistake in this episode as it's a good mistake that is kind of like really funny to me. Roll the clip. Glad you finally woke up on time, boy -o. <laughs> Just five more minutes, Cameron. I'm filing a complaint. I ordered this with extra pickles, and I only count for tea. SpongeBob, we got a wrong order. Like I said, it's really funny. So, Bubble Bass over here, one of my favorite SpongeBob characters, debuting back in the episode Pickles, roll a quick clip from that one. Only one thing. You forgot the pickles! <gasps> the best there is? I don't think so. You lose. <laughs> yeah, this dude right here who really loves pickles. Well, he reappears in Broken Alarm and he pulls the same BS that he tried pulling back in his debut episode Pickles. This dude claims that his burger only contains 14 pickles when he ordered more. However, if you look at the close up and count them, let's do this one, two, three, four, whatever. As you can see, there's 18 pickles. So either this was a mistake, which is what I think it was, or Bubble Bass is just like the biggest Karen on the planet. So yeah, let's move over to another episode. Please, Mr. Doppler, don't send Drizzle to cloud heaven. That's just an expression. He's not going anywhere. Phew, that's a relief. I'm going to drop him in this dehumidifier and dissolve him. Ah! Dissolve him, what? Next up is another banger from season 12. This is actually one of my favorite season 12 episodes, Stormy Weather. It's a good one. This is like a nine out of 10 episode. Take a look at some of these clips. Well, okay, I don't see any clouds, so I'm just gonna take a walk. Oh, hello there. Oh, 
Oh, the cute cumulus. Um, a clarity a telephone. A fur chandelier. A lamp. A soup factory. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I know what you guys clicked on, it's mistakes. Here's the first mistake. For this one, only true fans are really gonna get it. Drizzle! Drizzle! There you are, Drizzle. Oh. Gail Doppler! Oh, thanks for finding my lost pet, Mr. Doppler. Time to go home, Drizzle. I'm sorry, Squareface. This clown is a danger to the public, and I'm sending him straight to cloud heaven. <laughs> hey, Doppler. <laughs> You're not the only one who knows how to use a leaf blower, sucker. <sighs> like I said, you need to be a true fan for this one to really hit, all right? But if we go back to SpongeBob season one, literally the second episode is titled Reef Blower, and it's all about SpongeBob using this reef blower right here, okay? This is from season one, May 1st, 1999 is when the episode aired. Now the mistake is that in the episode Stormy Weather, for some reason, whenever the reef blower is brought up, it's referred to as a leaf blower, okay? A leaf blower. You're not the only one who knows how to use a leaf blower. Nah, this is a reef blower, and if you're a true SpongeBob fan, you know that, and whoever wrote this episode and wrote, like, the scripts should have known that themselves. I mean, seriously, there's an entire episode named after it, but whatever. Okay, here's another one, guys. One more mistake from this episode. What? Ah. Hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, now don't be scared. SpongeBob knows. It's just what a growing storm cloud needs. This one's simple. So, when SpongeBob says SpongeBob knows just what a growing storm cloud needs, take a look at our dude's teeth as his white teeth turn yellow for an entire frame. I make this joke all the time, guys, but seriously, SpongeBob, go brush those teeth, my boy. That's gnarly. Imagine how bad his breath smells. Guys, that's going to do it for today's video, but if you want more SpongeBob mistakes, click this video right here, where I talk about tons of other SpongeBob mistakes. Some of them are even more amazing and just shocking than the ones you've seen in this video. So click it. This video right here, click it right now, and I'll see you over there at this other video. It'll be so much fun. Click it, and I'll bring you a Krabby Patty right now. Okay, bye.